fetal macrosomia is defined as a birth weight greater than 4,000 grams, regardless of gestational age, or a birth weight greater than the 90th percentile for gestational age on a population-appropriate growth chart. In infants of diabetic mothers, fetal hyperinsulinemia occurs due to maternal hyperglycemia, which results in increased and disproportionate growth. Macrosomia increases the risk of birth trauma, such as a clavicular fracture and brachial plexus injuries, particularly Herb's palsy. Hypoglycemia occurs due to both decreased production and increased clearance of glucose. These newborns should be offered a feed within one hour of life and be closely followed for signs of hypoglycemia, such as lethargy, hypotonia, cyanosis, diaphoresis, tremors, and seizures. When following these newborns, it is very important to refer to local guidelines regarding glucose monitoring and further management. The risk of preterm delivery, both spontaneous and medically induced, is higher in infants of diabetic mothers. In addition to an increased risk of preterm delivery, infants of diabetic mothers can have an inadequate amount of cervactin production due to hyperinsulinism. Both risk factors contribute to the increased incidence of respiratory distress syndrome. Macrosomia, with consequent complications with delivery, and cardiomyopathy are both risk factors in the development of perinatal asphyxia. Although most infants with hypocalcemia are asymptomatic, they may present with neuromuscular irritability and convulsions. There is also a risk of QT prolongation and cardiac dysfunction. Hypomagnesemia often occurs in conjunction with hypocalcemia, which often will not improve until the hypomagnesemia is corrected. Polycythemia, defined as a venous hematocrit level of greater than 65%, occurs in infants of diabetic women mostly due to increased erythropoiesis in the fetus subsequent to hypoxemia, though red blood cell transfusion from the placenta may also contribute. It is visibly manifest as plethora and can lead to hypoglycemia, hypocalcemia, and hyperviscosity syndrome, which is a dangerous complication that can result in cerebral infarctions. Several mechanisms are likely involved in the development of hyperbilirubinemia. In addition to poor maternal glycemic control, additional risk factors include macrosomia, preterm delivery, and polycythemia. Most newborns with hypertrophic cardiomyopathy are asymptomatic. However, it may lead to severe morbidity and mortality in a minority of patients. Other cardiac abnormalities, such as transposition of the great arteries, may also occur. Several other complications can occur, including renal vein thrombosis and a wide variety of congenital anomalies, such as neural tube defects, caudal aggression syndrome, and small left colon syndrome. As well, infants of women with gestational diabetes are at increased risk of obesity and diabetes.